Here's why I did not do orthopedic surgery. What's going on guys? For those of you who are new here, my name is Kevin Jabal, physician entrepreneur based in Las Vegas, formerly in plastic surgery. Now this series called Why I Didn't is my subjective experience of a specialty, what I liked, what I didn't like, why I did not choose it in the end. Think of it as the opposite of So You Want To Be on the Med School Insiders channel. That's a very objective, very comprehensive overview where I speak with experts in the field. And it's more unbiased. So this is the opposite, let's dive in. But before we do that, you may notice this funky fresh shirt that I'm wearing or this pretty dope ass mug if I do say so myself. I'm excited to say that we have brand new Med School Insiders merch launching today. And we have a whole bunch of different designs. Here's another shirt. You know, statistics apply to populations, not to individuals. One of my favorite sayings. And we have Save Our Doctors as well. It's updated, it's like a smaller Save Our Doctors logo. The old one used to be bigger. Anything that is Save Our Doctors that you buy from our merch store, all the proceeds are gonna go to an organization that is preventing suicide or for mental health. And I haven't decided which organization we're gonna be donating to. So if you do have some strong feelings about that and some suggestions, let me know with a comment down below. God, I love this mug. Even got the little tea bag for all the tea heads out there, even though I do loose leaf. Anyways. So if you wanna check out some of this dope ass merch, go to merch.medschoolinsiders.com, link in the description. So the short answer why I didn't go into orthopedic surgery is that my step score plus my bench wasn't over 500. So what I liked about orthopedic surgery, let me start by saying it's an appealing field to a lot of people because it's so easy to understand. Any lay person knows what orthopedic surgery is. It's the bone surgeon, right? They understand what a skeleton is. When you look at other surgical specialties, you look at vascular or you look at plastics, it's not as easy to understand what those surgeons actually do. And because orthopedic surgery is more straightforward and saying, hey, like you got a broken bone, we'll take care of it. I think there's a certain draw to that just by familiarity, just by understanding it. With most other surgical specialties, maybe neurosurgery is similar to ortho in that a lot of people just get what it's about, at least for the most part. They don't understand all the nuances and all the different subspecialties and the fellowships, but they kind of get the idea. Most other specialties don't have that. So in plastics, for example, people will think of aesthetics primarily. They'll think of breast dogs, they'll think of rhinoplasties. And that makes sense. That's what the lay person is usually exposed to on TV shows or just on media overall. Whereas a huge part of plastic surgery is actually complex reconstruction. I had no idea about the complex reconstruction until medical school, for example. So this quote from So You Want To Be kind of sums up the stereotype. The stereotype is if you say dude frequently, can bench at least two plates, and are prone to fist bumping over handshakes, you may be an orthopedic surgeon at heart. With that said, anyone can be an orthopedic surgeon. It has this kind of funny, kind of appealing stereotype in a way that's like relatable to a lot of guys, I think. And it's very concrete and very, it's like gross anatomy. It's not microscopic anatomy. It's larger, like visible to the eye, right? And you're working with like physics and leverage and mechanics. And if you're into sports, then there's a lot of overlap, a lot of appeal with ortho. So these are all things that I found personally appealing about orthopedic surgery. The stereotype I don't fully relate to. I'm not super bro, I don't bench two plates, but I did love this like concrete nature, the mechanics, the physics, like physics was one of my favorite science subjects in high school. And the other cool thing about the specialty is that when you see a problem in a patient, you can usually fix it. It has good outcomes. And that is something that I learned really matters to me. You see this with joint replacement. They have joint issues, impaired mobility, and that really, that wreaks havoc on their just day-to-day -day life. And then with the joint replacement, boom, immediately they're like, you've changed my life. And that is really satisfying, having those good positive outcomes. Another thing people usually like about ortho is compensation. They are very well compensated. It's usually neurosurgeons number one, and then usually orthopedic surgeons number two. So they're making like 500K a year. It's good money. And then of course, if you wanna do something that's more higher adrenaline, you can go into trauma ortho. If you wanna do something that is a little bit more nuanced and smaller anatomy, then you can do hand, which was what I was drawn to. Although you should note that if you go into hand after ortho versus going into hand after plastics, you're gonna be, there's a lot of overlap, but ortho hand is a little bit more bony, obviously, and, and plastic hand is a little bit more soft tissue focused. And then there's all these other fellowships too, which have various levels of appeal to different people, like you know sports or joints or foot and ankle, et cetera, et cetera. We have all of them covered in that So You Want to Be episode. Okay, so what I did not like about ortho and why I didn't choose it, I rotated on ortho in my third year. So I was deciding between plastics, ortho, neuro. And I love the people. I thought most of the stuff we were doing was pretty fun. But ultimately, I just didn't fall in love with the specialty. And I think that comes down to a few reasons. So one thing is actually, I felt it was very straightforward going from diagnosis, you know, with some radiographs, some imaging, to then treatment plan, which is usually surgical. And in terms of the surgical options, there was usually just one or two. And again, this is from my very brief experience with orthopedic surgery. But it didn't seem as like complicated or 
challenging intellectually as what I wanted. And obviously you have to be very smart to go into orthopedic surgery. You have to score really well. It's one of the most competitive specialties, et cetera, et cetera. But I'm saying the actual work that I was seeing wasn't as like, oh, let's weigh the pros and cons of this modality versus that modality and this surgical technique or intervention. It seemed a little bit more just cut and dry, straightforward. And there's nothing wrong with that, right? But for me and for my personality, it didn't seem as stimulating intellectually. And I do wanna add a caveat there, which is that most surgery is like that, more or less, right? You have a couple standards of care. If you deviate from that, you're gonna be in trouble. People think that plastic surgery is so creative, so artistic. Uh, not really, man. You have, again, a couple different techniques, standards of care. And in terms of, like, if you're going to aesthetics, in terms of like exactly how much you add or remove or change, Sure, there's like some subjective, some artistic element, even though you can really break down beauty into science. But I don't wanna overstate how much like intellectual stimulation and, and variation there is in other surgical specialties. I think there is more than in ortho, but it's not like going into internal medicine, for example. So kind of tied to that is the medical management or rather lack thereof. And this is something I felt kind of torn over because on one hand, I felt like, you know, you work really hard to get an understanding of medical management in medical school. And then in a lot of surgical specialties, you really don't focus on that much anymore and you kind of lose it. So there are some specialties like neurosurgery where you do a lot of medical management, you know, in the ICU, for example, but in ortho, in plastics too, there, there isn't, really isn't that much. And there was times when I really was bummed out by that, but then also times when I was like, oh, this is so much simpler, so much easier, right? And then the last thing that I do mention a lot is the level of like precision versus crudeness. And ortho is, it's often compared to carpentry, which I don't think is necessarily a fair assessment, but like for those who aren't familiar with the specialty, I think that's a good way of kind of approximating like, okay, you're doing large kind of gross interventions rather than something that's like super meticulous, super precise, obviously exceptions like hand. And just for my personality, for my tendencies, like that wasn't a good fit. So those are the reasons why I didn't choose ortho. I'm sure that for a lot of you, you probably can't relate to those reasons, right? It's like, why does this guy care about precision or meticulous? Why does this guy care about medical management or whatever? And that's the cool thing about choosing a specialty. It's so personal and based on your own idiosyncrasies, your own quirkiness, your own interests, you can find a specialty that is best suited for you. If you wanna know more about orthopedic surgery, check out my So You Want To Be episode, or check out another episode from Why I Didn't, and don't forget to check out merch.medschoolinsiders.com. Much love, and I'll see you guys there.